Dave loves Ghost Reef and that HK. I'm wondering if uh if uh, little guys know of the patented Dave HK. <laughs> <laughs> from... Well, that was also a beginner tournament, so it's possible that he just taught newer players, you know, a, a, an easier to execute strategy. Yeah, maybe. You were right on the uh, Imani band, though. So maybe it is Ghost Reef. It, it, it could be, I mean, it could be literally any of these maps, because we all know Imani is just good on basically every map. <laughs> like, let's be honest with ourselves. Yeah, you know, I don't, I'm don't. i not convinced I would ban her. A on Margrave her. ban? Hmm. Hmm. There must be a good Margrave on the enemy team. There must be a good Margrave player on on Illusion that we uh that we don't know about. Who do we have on Illusion? A uh, Mojo, Mo, Classy. I mean, Trash is in. I think this game, isn't he? <laughs> He's pretty good. Oh yeah, isn't Clippy on this? Okay, game? this is a Sirens game. Sirens, great. So Sirens Strand. Yeah, I mean, Amani's. My strong than sirens. <laughs> yeah, it's gotta go. So it's gotta Although go. Well, they do have first pick. They do have first pick. I, I'm surprised they didn't force the ban on on red side. No, I think they wanna. I think they wanna take Dave's HK. But they might also like go for an early like Sven or Ashlyn here. Or maybe lock in like their own frontliner if they're you know if they yeah, ban. Yeah, this is Margrave. the first game we haven't seen a, a support ban. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they locked in some sort of frontliner here just because they have a much smaller selection. Quite literally, Paco <laughs> or Ramsey or maybe Zandora, but I still think that's I don't a, think you a problem. First pick a frontliner, though. Maybe not, but if they don't, right? then... Like... If, if they don't, then Lil Guys has, you know, the the open choice to pick here. Yeah, you can you can let them pick away two frontliners, but I think they give up so much in the draft by doing that, don't they? By picking like a uh, Paco Ramsey. Yeah. Now I'm now I come back. I well, no one really picks Roland apparently, but I but I pick like I don't know Roland plus Sven or something or Ashlyn. You know, Ashlyn's still in the pool. Yeah. And they're I mean yeah they're still mulling it over of course it seems, but uh, you know I, I did bring up the potential for the Sven. You know, insta lock. I mean, Sven is an incredibly strong character. He always has been. Uh, on Sirens, it just gives him all this access, but it's actually going to be T Map. T Map being the first, first lock in. Yeah. I mean, I'm not surprised. That's by interesting. That as well. I, I, I'm not. I, I'm I, not shocked. I'm not surprised by the. Here's here's my my theory. Uh, on on Tina is that he it's a very good character but it I don't think it's first pickable um because yes it might be the best of the range but it's like you're giving you need to lock down with in this kind of format you need to lock down either your support or your front line with your first pick yeah. one of the two I mean priority you know? definitely is um a factor and this is you know this could be the first time that a lot of these characters Horrible. or a lot of these players have drafted but yeah, there's the Sven. Uh, Roland, Roland, Roland. Someone pick a Roland, please. <laughs> yeah. uh, the, he's he's screaming. I'm, to, to I'm telling you, they've gentlemen banned him. Like, just a silent agreement from the team captains to say, all right, no Roland or Kajir. They're not banned, but they're still really strong, and we don't want to use him. I mean, he, Roland's really strong, but he's not in like an, oh, Mozu pick. Okay, Love maybe the they Mozu. think Anubis is awake, and they're trying to take it away. <laughs> <laughs> okay it's not like it's not like uh, anubis is the only person that plays mozu you know well yeah but he is like potentially i like i said he's really good i've said this last tournament he is probably the best mozu player there is Ooh. like he does he does things on that character that a lot of people don't let do a, on that character. don't let ed or doug hear you say that <laughs> but... i'm sorry that's Anu anubis has more time anubis is awake are you in the game, Anubis? That's a good question. So right on he, the left he side now. He sent a message in the chat. Oh, I saw okay, it. I see right. it. I'll stop, I'll stop cheesing you then. I'll stop cheesing you So then. maybe it is him. That's hilarious. Okay, so they so they did pick it away because Anubis is in the chat. I will I will say this about Anubis, that he is probably the best the best Mozu player in the game. I mean, we're also assuming that they know that Anubis is a good Mozu. Maybe they just have a player that they pick Mozu. Vote in! Yes! There's my boy! 
I love Odin. I'm not a good Odin, but I do love map. it. I, I, I did I did say that Odin is very is, is viable on no, this map. No, it's Sirens. It's Sirens. Oh, well, that's right. It's game map two. Is, no, didn't uh, we say it was? According to Banjax, oh, really? his says map one is Sirens, two is Ghost Reef, and oh, three okay, will okay. be Oh, okay, okay, never mind, never mind, never mind, you're right, Sirens, I gotta mix up. You're okay, good. I don't think Bowden's a good pick on Sirens. <laughs> oh, <laughs> boo. I think, I think you could, yeah, But sorry. he's got the jump uh, pad. I know he's got a, you already have a Sven, why do you need it? No, they've got the Sven. Little guys has oh, the Sven. Oh, okay, okay, never mind, never mind. <laughs> but I, I don't think you need it, though, that's the thing. You, the... I mean, there. It's just I don't know. There is. Uh, it's such a weak range there, on this map. There is ease of access onto D point now with the inclusion of infernals in the game. So like maybe if one of the maybe if one of the players on illusion or maybe two of them are running an infernal, like that can be a good uh, substitute. Kajir, he's there. They're picking. There it him. is. So Anubis has been playing a lot of Kajir recently. This is the other character. I know he has a lot of time on Kajir. Yeah. And he is unbanned, and man, it is strong. This is so they waited until the end of the draft to pick their tank. Yep. Uh, and it's a Paco, which is actually can can fill in a traditional tank role with this Ashland in the, in the front line with him. Yeah. And then uh, a Taito, the Swift, being picked up as the last pick, trying to match this Kajir as an assassin. I don't know if that quite works, to be honest. I don't know if that's a if that's a matching pick. It could. Um... The good thing about picking Taito here, in my opinion, is that the only real hard CC that they have uh, consistently is from Paco. You know, uh, there's just like a there's like a days that's an upgrade specifically for Tmat. You know, there's a there's a quick yeah Tmat days rockets. It's actually very good this patch. There's you a... lose a lot of damage, but it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. And then there's a there's a you know quick interrupt from Ashlyn if she doesn't go the bubble, and then of course Voden's focus, but that's a focus, so. You know, it. I, I do think that Taito has some room here uh, to kind of cut down the low health people that may end up being on the enemy team. I think. Uh, I think the problem that Low Guys has right now, kind of looking at their roster, they have a, they have an astonishing lack of area of effect damage. Like the closest maybe is Oru, <laughs> and then the next closest would be like Sven. And that's not yeah. that's not a great Sirens thing to too, have. Which is a problem. The game has just started, and we have some control going on here in the middle. Already, Anubis on that team mat is putting a lot of damage down on that creature. It's half HP. Dave slamming away as well. Taito's got to run out, but Purple Buns is there, ready to finish it, and the Paco comes down with the snowball. That's 30 to 20 for Team Illusion. Now this creature is still half HP and still under a lot of pressure. One of the upsides of this uh, Mozu pick is you do get to put that portal down, but it looks like it didn't work, and this creature is maybe going to fall. Body blocks came through. Good opening from the Ashland here. That should be easy to pick up. And they just... That's the... It's so easy to open with the Kator. You yep. right-click on the creature. And they're actually just all positioned to take full control of this. It's not. It wasn't even that they great do. of a defense by Lil Guys. The creature's down. That's so it's 70 to 40 for Team Illusion. Yeah, and now they have full control of D. They'd really just have to sit here. You know, this is this is something that we've seen constantly on this map. You have control of D and you have to fight for another point. You know, if if E captures, there's no disrupt. Which it looks like there was a, an attempt, but now there's a lot of fight happening here in the middle. Yeah. They Kill. found an Oru out of position and they just took the power from it. It's hundred to sixty. They don't even get to collect their, their twenty. Yep. Going on to this first push, Leyren pushing on to Gren, and they're positioning here in the middle, getting ready to go in. This is, I mean, this is what I expected from Illusion, was just a, a little bit of, and oh, they're going for a, for a wound here, though. They want the damage on it. I love seeing... Everyone's going to be jumping in here. Kajir goes on the wound. Dave's sitting in the back line doing a lot of damage with the Poison Cloud, but he's got to get out because Gnosis is on him. Gnosis will confirm the kill on Dave, and that's a shield going on the wound, so they only have seven seconds left. They can a second get it. one going on, but they will find it. Oh. However, three kills on the way out with that death ray from Mozu. Yeah. It's, uh... That was... That was a not... You know, they didn't hold the wound, but the defense was uh, able to secure those kills, and that's really, really good. Now they can position to go back to D and hopefully get it chunked down before they can regroup. They're getting Already close. Speed. This thing's gonna fall. They're getting close. Yeah, two rotations ahead. Will they get ahead. the plant, though? 
Akko should have an ultimate for this fight, so this could be really dangerous, but he's gonna get bullied out. Team out in the back line is gonna start pressing F on the backliners, and Oru falls as well. That's two power collected, 50 to 60. So the it kind of almost made it even actually here. What, what little guys were ahead by 40 by the end of that encounter, and now they're only yeah. ahead by 10. So yep. they just stuck around a little bit too long. I actually think they could have afforded to retreat. Fully it was it was looking okay until they I mean they they got D back and now they took down F, so they're fully even with the midpoint in their control. Yeah, and I mean this will be a D power rotation. Yeah. No, this this should go to E and C. Oh, it's C. It's C. I see. Okay. Yeah. So I, I thought it, I thought it was there. Okay. No, that's fine. I actually think that, like I said, little guys could have afforded to retreat and just hold this the E point because of the rotation that was happening. I mean, granted, you don't want to leave. You don't want to leave D if at all possible because it's the strongest point in the game. You know, it's it's quite literally free power. But when you can just win the push from E anyway, you're not totally losing that much. You know, you want to keep your ground as best you can, but you don't need it. You can save, you know, those resources and commitments for a later time. Pre-rotation's coming off here to try to stop the power collection from going, but, it, I mean, just won't be able to get it, and that's 100 to 80, while Illusion got a uh, interrupt on the other side. Yeah, and they... So we're not even seeing a 100-100 push. And they they went in just a little bit too late. They uh, they weren't able to actually get the interrupt there to, to stop it from happening. You know, Illusion was on top of it, and they're they're veteran players, so that was expected from them. Yeah, Anubis is going to commit the ult to get the death timers going, and they have seven seconds with this wound down and three players dead. So this one's going to fall pretty easily. They might also, yep, they killed the uh, Taito on the back end too. Yeah, get so a they little can't bit even of extra time. Five v five. I mean, they're already prepping that bloomer as well. To stop this wound from happening. Oh, they might be able to do it. A lot of damage was averted. It was one second left, and they did find it. Yeah, now, not they, quite. Will they get power on the backside? They killed Anubis, and Paco has to get out, but he's going to get knocked up. Good this looks gore. Like converted here. Oh, they're trying. Oh, yep. the com wow, they dropped the Mozu ult for that. Yeah. And Ashlyn's still in, too. But as you switch over to Clash here, Ashlyn just needs to get over to D, and she's mostly safe. Of course, not yeah, 100%. Yeah, I cannot. He just... He just like hid in the back line while they were. He pretty much said, "All right, you're gonna be, you're gonna be done for, Paco. Classy, you're dead." Mozu committed a teleport. Actually, get in there and try to start doing damage. I'm actually a little surprised they didn't end up killing her. She must have got out. Nope, there she so goes. No whiffed, but it doesn't even matter. There's three kills coming out for Illusion, and we're 30 to 20, and they're gonna use this to get another creature kill off as well. The power collection might go off, but they're gonna be 20 power ahead after this. Yeah, just another case of little guys biting off a little more that they could chew. You know, when you're a rotation ahead, you can afford to take a little bit of time. They're trying to take advantage of, you know, a couple of the kills I got on the backside, but with with respawn timers being a bit lower than they were in the uh, in the olden times, you know, they just they couldn't commit enough damage fast enough. And now they're looking for a like rotation this. here. They decided to go around. They, they, the D point isn't working, so let's try to go around. But our Taito got found at the start of the fight, and he's a quarter HP having to run around. And Anubis is just going to blow his focus just to say, all right, you guys can't fight either. Yep. It's now just... we're 20 power ahead. We don't want to take this fight. Just chill out the, and wait for this clash, for, for this rampage the, again. The team at focus for dominance as, uh, as expected. And uh, yeah, like you said, they just need to capture C. Like C will capture and, and they might go in and stall E, which they are going to do. They're going in to stall E and, and just kind of have it, uh, you know, collect. Other, other point. The, both, both both teams are going into interrupt here, so it's actually kind of a race of who can kill the creature first. Yep. They uh, they both killed the creature. But they also but there's captured gonna be, power. It looks like there was a... Yeah, they captured the power. That's crazy. They didn't have they didn't have the interrupt ready on the, uh, on the E point. Yeah, I mean, I think they just killed the creature, creature too fast and no one was there. Like, Kajir manually yeah. captured that power. That crazy. <laughs> they just killed it so fast. There's a lot of damage coming out from this Mozu, but it's just not enough to collect any of these yeah. kills. And they're going to kill two players right before the wound goes down yet again. We've seen this before. Four seconds before anyone's up and Gren is laying on the ground. This poor Nasus can't do anything. They're just going to pound as much damage as they can. They just keep... Okay, they almost extended the death timers again with that Mozu. Yep. A nice uh, kill okay, in the front. Four players came in. There could be some defenses here. Yep, they pull it off barely. 
the The moose won't go off, but they've got a sliver of health left, and Liren is looking very healthy. They haven't even planted on G again yet. That's how behind they've been. Yeah, Lil Guys has to find something. And again, they find a kill here on the retreat, but they're just... They're going too far I forward. Another. Ooh. Oh, not Herp quite. Pretty low, but Taito doesn't look like he can finish that just yet. He's, oh, he's trying. trying for it. Oh, he might. Purple's really low. He's getting support from the pile. Oh, the interrupts. And it's just not enough. <laughs> oh, they totally collapse on him. That That's was brutal. a great job by Purple Buns to stay alive as long as she could. And just like getting that extra bit of punishment for yeah. staying too yeah. long. Illusion There's, hasn't yeah. Illusion hasn't resummoned C yet, so they don't need knows to. Knows his uh, his his limits on that Ashland, I can tell you. Yeah, I mean, when you when you when you kind of main somebody and really know their ins and outs, like you know what so you can and can't do. <laughs> yeah, she's really good Ashland's really right good. Now. She always has been. A little bit of damage happening. This is a this is a situation of, of illusion kind of or sorry not illusion of uh, little guys like kind of trying to grasp for straws. Yeah, yeah. I mean it's kind of what you have to do. Uh, I think Ooh. preferably. Wow, that's a pretty nice vote and all. It collected one and rooted another. That's gonna be a maybe a dead Oru. It looks like they don't have enough to chase though. Yeah, this will absolutely be game with e capturing. Oh yes, they do. They have a Kajir. This will absolutely be game with E capturing. It's just complete dominance from Illusion in this first game. I mean, little guys tried a couple of these of, of these side attacks. It's just too little, too late. And when they tried to commit, they got punished. They couldn't like they couldn't regroup, retreat. They couldn't secure kills. And just Illusion took full advantage every single time. Yeah, and you know we saw the power of the Kajira at the end there, being able to confirm the kill on the Oru. Is this a little visual a bug happening? <laughs> like, look I at these poison so. clouds. <laughs> I I think there's not a lot of characters that can confirm a kill. A little guy should have the first pick and band here. All right, HK ban. Okay, so HK off the star. We might see an Amani open then. Uh, they must have watched Dave's team during the beginner tournament and seen his HK there. Yep. Uh, and Amani ban, there's, I, I called the Amani ban, they kind of left it open and said, alright, do you want to ban Amani or do you want to let us pick it? So they banned it away and then picked away the team at early, which was a very big problem with how much damage it was doing last game. And we might be seeing the Anobis, the, the Anobis Mozu. The Anobis? Um, I mean, yeah, like you said, banning banning the Dave HK and then taking away the team at it's very very safe but leaving open one of these frontliners and the patented Anubis Mozu this is already a huge and the Ashland it's very they're, they're leaving the Ashland on the table and picked away the Kajir so that that's the answer to it from last there game you go. Hey, maybe we don't ban it it doesn't look like it's a first pick priority maybe we pick it away from them it's very risky but, you know, it seems to have paid off, and hopefully they can actually utilize it uh, to its full capability. I'm excited to see. So what should we see on the Illusion side now? Illusion needs a support, of course. Sven is still open. Vadasi, we haven't seen played yet. Um, There's Sven. They <laughs> called that one. Um, okay, Sven, yeah. Ooh. They, they need, they, I, I know that Illusion really uh, prioritizes supports a lot. Uh, the Wu pick is really interesting. I don't know who they have on their team that's a Wu player, but I can tell you that it does answer Kajir really, really well. Yeah. Um, you have a very easy time, first of all, picking him out of his defensive, out of his skeleton crew. Uh, and, and second of all, finding him when he's trying to assassinate someone and messing up his plan. Well, Wu is also... It's very, it's very easy. Wu is also incredibly strong on Ghost Reef as a whole, just because... Um... There are a lot of little, you know, there's a lot of little hidey holes and tight corners that he can just jump around and, and access because, you know, yeah. he's got such a, a huge range on all of his abilities. He can just, you know, a lot of people are getting like the spin cue that gives him deflection and then he just does like three short dashes. And then already, you know, with the right mouse button, giving you a, a ton of possible uh, vertical and horizontal mobility. It's like, I, I'm, I'm not too... Uh, I'm not too surprised with the Wu pick at all. Uh, again, like you said as well, you know, being able to tie down Kajir, pull Ashlyn if they need to, maybe even maybe even a 
team at. They're going to pick the front line. They're sticking to the Gnosis. Interesting. The Gnosis. The Zandora! <laughs> We're seeing some Whoa. weird picks here. This is like the third game in a row. There's been some weirdness. Wow. I'm trying to make this one work in my head, and I don't know what's going on here. Right, there, there was Zenobia, there was Ezrin, now we're seeing two Gnosis's in a row, and a Zandora, and then the other side is... Well, they really Ramiel value Charnock. the Gnosis pick. Yeah. Is, is, is what we know for sure here. Yeah. Um, but the Zandi pick is so... Maybe they felt like there just wasn't enough support from the Gnosis last game to really do what he needs to do, so they pick another Brawly uh, uh, frontliner. Yeah, this is... And, and um, you have the, the Aura, Ashlyn, Aura, Zandi. Yeah, this is this is very safe, kind of good synergy, especially if this Ashlyn also goes melee. She doesn't have to, uh, by any means, but if she does, that is, it's more kind of confirmation of uh, Kator being in the front and her being able to contribute to locking people down but the viable the the viability of the ranged you know spectral wave damage is also really good this does give um this does give a Gnosis a lot of support uh you know not just with healing but if she goes spectral wave and takes kator's aura that's extra 30 armor on top of his innate 15 and then zandora even has an upgrade on her e which i think is probably one of her uh probably one of her better uh, e ability upgrades called battle armor where if she lands attacks she also provides 10 armor to people uh, near her so that's plus that's plus 40 armor from all sources which means that he would be at cap like defense cap so you know i i, I think that's something to kind of like kind of consider pulling together no fights just yet it seems yeah. So and right. this is I talked about the opening theory of of Ghost Reef. This this would be in the opening theory of Ghost Reef if there ever was one. You kind of jockey for position over this midpoint. Yep. Or, or or over your cliffs, and then if someone steps into the mid, then you start kind of going crazy on them. Yep. And look at Illusion already of applying a lot of pressure here. Which speaking of, I need to. Uh, actually, yeah, it's little guys that actually found. Uh, the initial yeah, kill. Yeah, is on the Charnock. Yeah, not they on the Mozu. they took yeah. a. Interesting. I have a, I have seen him playing some of Charnock on his streams. So. Oh, he plays a lot of Charnock. Mm -hmm. I just I was hoping for the Mozu. <laughs> Mozu got a hook or, or Mozu Mojo got a hook, got a hook on the frontliner, and they did a lot of damage, but just weren't able to finish the kill. Yeah. But the uh, illusion might have. Uh, sorry, little guys might have found a kill somewhere early in in the skirmishes here, but illusion is definitely holding kind of their ground. Yeah, I can't really tell. Just as, you know, it's just like this constant back and forth in the middle. We always expect Ooh. HK low, but he got Mojo out. Mojo has to find his way out, and Classy's going to hit the F button on the Ashland, but it doesn't look like they have enough damage to really punish her just yet. <laughs> what was that movement that Charnock just did? Did you see that? That was weird. Oh, Gnosis is holding four. They might not. Okay. Yeah, the, not the interrupt committing. does come in from, uh, from Gnosis. Yeah, not committing. Very, very smart. They don't want to lose their lead here. They tried for another Nossus summon. His, uh... Oh, he's in a lot of danger here. That's a lot of damage coming out, but he's going to be able to get to the back line to his support. He took his uh, his uh, back attack talent first, yeah. which I think is honestly most Margrave should be doing that. The, uh, the counter? Yeah. It's yeah, the strong. counter attack. Ooh, watch out, Woo! Okay, he makes it out. He's Woo. He's got it. Good. They might commit for that chase, though. Still, this midpoint collection's going off, and Margrave's getting close to it, but Gnosis comes in to uh, interrupt at the very last second. Yeah, so if there's no interrupts that go on, it'll actually support little guys, because they've got 90 to 80. So they're they're still going in for the interrupt, though. It's going to come down to actually who will kill the points faster. It's going to be F, or is it going to be B? Right. Well, it's not even that. It, they can kill B, but they still have to collect the power. F, the, if they kill, they just get the push just like that. Yep. And now it's 100 to 80 for Gren. So little guy's finding and the first is... push. Yeah, little guy's finding the first push. That's a really nice. Uh, I don't know where. Did you? By the way, where is Gren here? Did you see Gren back there? I think he's we, gone. We might have a little spectator bug of of Invisa Gren, but that's okay. It, Lyran fighting demons. It over happens. There. Okay, can we see the fight? That's, that's, let's see the fight. It's a so ghost. They, they Margrave went off, and it actually looked like it went in the favor of a little boys. 
or sorry, of of illusion. Sorry, they got a lot of uh, a lot of power there in yep. the last second. So this push isn't going really. There's a lot of shield on Gren's forehead. Yeah, they might have actually uh, stayed a little too long as they did in the first game. You know, they position forward, but if illusion can find some you know damage potential here, they don't actually have the ability to stay like keep their footing. So they had to back up and they couldn't commit to the wound. This is a. Uh... You know, the it's very interesting seeing how they kind of play with danger with these with these two tanks. Yeah. Because they have such a good uh, ways to get out between the Zandora and I mean Zandora's an okay way to get out, but it's pretty good. And the uh, and the Sven jump pad. Yeah. So they just kind of throw all their stuff. They sit in the middle, wait to get half HP, and then and then hope that someone else gets them out. Nice jump pad to get out of there. Might get a Jew's kill here on Kajir. Oh, yep. And Wu did follow it through, so that's one for uh, Illusion. Yep. So now Illusion kind of having the 10 point power lead as we saw last time. Margrave missing the jump there. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think he's in any real danger, that's though. It's just an Ashland that was. Quite a leap. <laughs> that was close. Anubis is in the middle of the map for some reason, but he's going to find his way out up to the ledge. There's, uh, there's just a lot of like small fights happening all over the place it seems right now illusion That's gigantic it's a caster's nightmare i mean illusion finding another kill somewhere in that whole skirmish now they're ahead by a whole rotation yeah but I, deep uh we haven't seen the d collection though that could turn this whole thing around yep. because honestly uh little boys showed us that they actually have very good control over the d point with this comp yep this is a uh... This will really just come down to, you know, if if little guys can find some kills here or there, they're trying to commit to the E push here. But this is this is dangerous. This is I mean, but it's the right call if you're the one that's behind in the rotation. Big and they burn Zandoral. the Zandoral. This is a really big fight. Purple Buns looks like he's going down and he will fall. Gnosis in the middle of the team will get a three-man ultimate as well. And Classy has to get out, and now this creature's trying to collect. It will get the collection off, but they will get a kill, making it 8-8. Eight, eight. Mojo, Mo, Mojo will find the kill on the back line, and that's a uh, woo. They're not going to be able to punish that. Yeah. So it's they're still ahead, but they fought it to a point where D-Point is collecting, and it's only 80-90. to 90. So this is a fight for little guys. Yeah, they can't afford to die, though. They've got to they've gotta somehow get the kill here. Or stall long enough to get the power rotation, and you know. look for the pick on Tmat, but Anubis is there to to kind of follow through. That's quite the push in, but Mojo found his uh, found a little bit too much to bite Mojo's off. capping. Holding four on the midpoint, the interrupt will come through. Now ninety to ninety, again coming down but to the see. They find a kill. Nice job for Dave. Uh, the Ashland had to run way in to get the interrupt on Margrave, and that just led to the kill. But they did so find a return So now we're finding kill. another push. If they can kill this Kajir, it could be really big to extend the kill timers. Possibly. Uh, he's going to find his way out. Yeah, and a, and a 100 shield is not going to be a ton of damage. I mean, granted, it's the first wound. It is the smallest health bar. Hey, there's Gren. <laughs> There he is. Yeah, he, he showed up. There we go. I was go. gonna say that this was that this was Liren's eternal struggle with the gigantic heroes. They're actually going for it. Or something. Like, yeah, they're trying to get a lot of damage. The this is one of the downsides to this comp that they've drafted is yes, they do have the two range characters, but they don't have as much consistent wound damage. Yeah. They're really looking to play around. They're kind of ramping up their damage and being safe so that they can hit the wound, and they just couldn't do it there. And now on the response, they're going to lose a bloomer. Classy goes in to try to stop the damage, but it's just not enough. Now he's stuck in the middle of five players, and he's got to find his way out without his support up just yet. He will find perp. Yeah, and finding a kill and killing the creature will now put them ahead in a power rotation. We haven't even gotten the first, like, we haven't even gotten the first orb yet. <laughs> so this is really strong for little guys now. Uh, yeah. It won't, be, it won't be a full hundred until D comes up. So they've got to really just kind of stop them. Yet again, another situation where you just have to stall D long enough for the C to come back up. And then if so long as it stays alive, like you get push. Ooh, push, yeah. a little bit of pressure right there. He's poking him a little bit, getting a good amount of damage from that Kajir. But it doesn't look like it's going to result in anything just yet. Just kind of posturing, just saying. We're so a forward. Bit too far. He's going to have to consume his ghost to get out there, and that's a lot of damage. The Mozu's going to co uh, confirm the kill. Wow, what rank and spell another was one that? on purple, so we're just 1-1 one, one here. There's still one full power rotation ahead, but it's 50 to 30. Those even numbers are very important in Gigantic. I feel like that was like a tier 2 Sven focus. Ashlyn was a snail for a long time. Poor Anubis yeah. running away. 
He's trying to find his way out, but there's a Zandora and a Khajiir on his head. He will just barely get it out. He has to burn the ultimate to really make sure he's safe. Oh my goodness, there's just little fights again happening all over the place. Just this frontline space. Nas is having has to, to burn focus. All, his ultimate. And Wu's gonna die in response. That was a very good ultimate from Wu. That confirms it for him. From, uh, from Nasus. And I think that was a defensive Mozu ult from Dave, just trying to get them out of the area because it was looking to go really bad. And it converts to a kill for uh, on the Khajiir. Anubis is able to get the snipe down. Yep, yeah, and this and will this be an auto wound. It's still an be. auto wound, yeah. So yeah, they, they can just kind of chill, maybe position ahead a little bit just in case, because we've had that issue before, but I, I do believe this, this should be a total auto win. All right, Grin actually is back. I guess he just had to get a push. He was yeah. he was camera shy. But yeah, we reset back he to zero. To sure he was doing something cool on camera. <laughs> Speed invisible. Because... Your first appearance can't be a bad one, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, as we reset back to zero zero, no need to go deep and, and confirm, so uh, little guys can just stay safe for this. Illusion has to find some sort of answer here. It's uh, it looks like they're kind of not able to fully commit to these fights and get out at the same time, which is surprising. I actually think that they have a great team to fully like uh, to escape if they have to. I think they need to slow it down a little bit. Yeah, they're, they're playing versus essentially a brawl comp. They need to take their time and let their damage kind of pump out. Yeah, and they're trying to lure out the little guys right now. Margaret going in. Good Plus focus. He's going in with a two-man ultimate. He's already at a core oh HP, my though. God. He's melted. That Gnosis plus Zandora uh, combo does do a lot of damage with her, uh, yep. her battle aura. But Mojo's Mojo. really low as well. He's gonna need to find his way out, but the bleed is just too much. He falls so quickly. This is falling apart for Illusion. 40 to 20, and Anubis has to run as well. Another Purple kill. gets caught without his jump pad. What in the world happened? Just all of a sudden, they turned tide. Margrave just got melted, then they all were forced to just retreat. And when when they tried to retreat, they just couldn't. When you put Battle Aura on a Gnosis that's slapping into a tank, there's a lot of DPS coming out there. I'd be very interested to see what the damage numbers look yeah, like. Yeah, it's gotta be it's gotta be uh just it's gotta be the combination of like I said earlier, of maybe spectral wave and just the battle armor. Like a lot of armor on Gnosis is a scary thing. Anubis is taking a little bit of damage here and he's gonna have to fall down on the other cliff. Margaret is so Lassie far is deep. also in trying to stop the uh, the collection, but this one looks like it's a silly one to try to give your life for. This isn't really important for them to stop the collection just yet because it's a 70. He's just on his the own. The point is coming up. He's got no yeah, stand. Yeah, I don't know why you would give your life to try to collect that. And he, he seemed like... To to stop that. Yeah, no, I agree completely. And it seemed like he used all of his abilities just to keep stalling when he really didn't have to. Yeah, it doesn't even give the push. Like, I don't, I don't know. So Kajir, Kajir is trying to get out, and Illusion is a little pressured here to try to find a kill to stop the push, or even extend their their shield lead, yeah, uh, or their shield on the wound. Yeah. So Illusion. I mean, go ahead. They're the the they kind of have some wound damage. I suppose it's very hard to push into wound with this Gnosis and or comp. Yeah. I mean, a, a little guy's kind of looking like a like the turn in the tide on Dave here of just letting Laren do the damage for them, not really committing. Or Illusion's just working like really hard to keep up their defense. But they gotta they gotta get winning. They gotta win some pushes here. They've only gotten one. Little guys has gotten three. That jump pad was a little rough. They had to run forward to get back out, and Anubis is gonna commit the ultimate here to try to get some space. Oh, he will get it thankfully, so we can start slamming away. But Classy's already half. He the got it. Line. Wow, that was a really nice ultimate from Dave. That Mozu, that was, like, that was his uh, death ray they got it, right? Yeah, that Mozu just went in. They committed three ults for that kill on Kajir, and that was that was, that was was nuts. Ooh, Mojo got caught by the combo, and they might be able to dive to get him, but he's way out. That jump attack from Wu gets so much range when you're on a jump pad. Yeah, good job. Nasa somewhere ulted on the other side, maybe just defensively to, to keep himself alive. The team at ult's committing for Dave, I believe. Oh, Classy is what Margrave. he's going to find instead. Half HP. And it won't be able to finish it off. They're really just finding whatever power they can or trying to find. Just saying it's going to get pulled in and get out at half HP. And Anubis as well getting try with an assassination attempt on his life. Going crazy over here. It's uh, it's like the fights all game, like all day have been these really just big constant battles. You know, somehow through all that illusion... Uh, 
ended up getting one kill, or maybe two kills. They're ahead by they're ahead by ten. The wrong part of town. <laughs> yeah. So right now the the upper hand is on Illusion side. You know this will be a seventy to sixty with E and C. So they can they can afford to fight a little bit for D if it comes down to it. But we actually haven't had a single collect on the midpoint, which is not that surprising actually, because there's a lot of yeah, there's I mean, a lot of CC on blue teams. Yeah, pretty reliable. On both nice pull. Mojo gets a nice tongue. But he's gonna and get punished now, for it. I think. I think they really need to be saving their tongues a little bit more in this game. Ooh. Ooh, Pixel went a little bit too deep and got found by the range, and now they are, they're going to be able to start running forward because they're not scared of a of a Kajir popping up on their back line. Yep, they're trying to find a little bit of ground there with that, and and Illusion now ahead by the full rotation, just an overcommitment by the Kajir, and uh, I'm a little surprised because uh, they're they're doing. I mean, they were a little bit behind anyway, but like. You know, you don't really need to go into enemy territory just to confirm a yeah. kill. The uh, oh, nice the old point's gonna stop the collection at least to a fight. Zendoral's coming down now. It's gonna save the Ashland, but everyone's just gonna go back and they're so low that Anubis uh, he says I'm gonna start the collection, but he has to get out of there because that's a lot of damage. Because you might die is really again. Low. Too many. There's too many low characters. You can't stop this fight at this point. Yep. And even even just committing and the kill. Collecting. Yeah, it's just there, there's too much power going on, and they'll even find the Gnosis on the back line. This is a this is a big quick uh, push for Illusion. Ooh, good tongue gets him the resets. Yeah, not quite an auto wound with this, but they can uh, very easily confirm it. It is going to be clash either way because this is five uh, rampages. Let's see if uh, let's see if Illusion a commits to it. They wanted to burn the ultimate to stop uh, Lyran from. From getting any more power so that they can commit to this wound because if it got 70 power it would be a lot harder to finish this wound off because they're going to see a lot of resistance here anubis runs in to finish it I off get it. that might end up costing him his life because he's pretty deep in there where'd he go not in how does he just get out of that i'm not entirely deep. sure yeah he went he just like what <laughs> did you see him running towards lyric yeah like yep they just uh maybe maybe little guys were just afraid to like fully commit because this this happened in the last game you know on sirens they try to confirm these kills by chasing after wound and then they end up getting turned on just a big brawl happening here at e yeah a lot of low character a lot of low players on illusion and there's an ult that comes in and there might be a pretty impactful fight from this there's a lot of full health on little guys players there's a, a lot of damage coming down from Ezra. Uh, well, Nasus. not a lot of damage, but on the Anubis, and that's that's important. One for one so far. Everyone on Illusion is on like a quarter HP, one eighth HP. Oh, big ult from Margrave. He's so he'll lives. be able to get himself out. Oh my God! There's no way. He one lives. HP on the back. Line. Oh, He's still no. alive! Wow. That was insane. He did. That was a margins play. You didn't get much out of it, but you sure lived. And uh, I mean. They only got one kill from that. Yeah, one for That's one crazy. in the end. That was uh, that was that was quite the save. Oh, a little pick on the Wu here. No, he'll he'll be fine. Especially with the support from the high ground. <laughs> yeah, he's high enough level now. He's got all of his resets. So after they all so of that, it's so hard to kill him at that point. After all of that, they end up even, and they're going a risky play upgrading E here. Little guys are gonna go for it, I think. Maybe. Nope. I think they it's yeah. Up. It's a couple of moments too late a little too late could have tried this yeah maybe they just didn't realize quick enough that's a that's something that you really have to keep your eye on creature shows up it's really hard to fight that with how much healing is coming out yep this is exactly and what not i even healing just the attack this is exactly what i've expected from a uh, from this woo if i'm gonna be honest so we go back to the middle points now oh they're rushing for b this is very interesting so the, we're trading creatures. Uh, a little guy said, "All right, they're they're you know hiding around their level two creatures. Let's go and kill their other ones." They actually and they spawned ob an ob on F. Oh, that's gonna is, that's gonna bite him if it comes back. I don't hate this because it kind of forces the mid Gnosis? fight to be the important one, right? And that's they've already shown they want to fight in the mid. Oh, he should have just capped. I think he could have got it. E and starting to kill the level two level two creature fight here. Whoever gets this this push for or this creature first will get the push. It'll be a hundred likely, but oh, who gets the kill first? Oh, it was oh, so close. Be Wait, who got it? It's a Lyran rampage. It, yeah, it, it, they're, rampage. They're, uh, yeah, it is. That is wild. 
Usually the defender turns blue. I wasn't actually sure, but uh, the, the turn to 100, that was so insanely close. Even with Margrave not being there, like Margrave tried to stall long enough. What an insane play right now. Yeah, I mean, you can't, the Margrave can stall a collect, but you, you just can't stop damage from coming out on that scale. And they're trying to commit for this uh, wound is 100 to 100. I don't think they have this the ability to walk in on this, but maybe I'm wrong. They have a lot of damage from the Khajiir hitting the wound. Oh, nice kill. We get a little shield more shield. On. Only two seconds. No, they yeah, can't possibly. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're getting it. And now they're in a really bad position because they, they have their whole team dead for a couple more seconds here. And Illusion gets to run into C and potentially get a free power from this. Yeah, it, it will only be 10 if they kill the young creature, but it is better than nothing. You know, a little consolation right, prize. A, yeah. That's, I mean, 10 power is, you're, you'll take that when you can get it. That's the same as a kill. They're trying to stop the Xandora over there. They actually use two ults and they don't get her, but they're forcing her to retreat. They There's don't actually get the creature either. Yeah, they might be able to collect it later, but it's a bloomer, so it'll heal up very quickly, yeah. actually. And I just want to bring out that little guys haven't killed the F point yet. They need to go back and kill that, uh, <laughs> kill that, uh, um, No, obelisk. the illusion. Illusion does. Oh, that's, that's right. You're thing. right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Either way, they need to go back but, and kill I mean, that. That's not, that's not much of a problem. The Mozu can do that by themselves, really. What an insane back and forth. Yeah, Some fighting going on there's over there. A lot of, there's a lot of fights going on over here at, uh, at E. God, the, the Zandora is at one so HP. good. Classy's in the middle trying to stop people from hitting it, but Zandora is just smacking away at the bloomer. You can see how little damage she does as it took so long, but it will eventually fall. But they find a kill and the creature, and they all get out. Now, uh, Lil Guys is ahead by 20. Oh, they found a kill somewhere. Dave, oh, Dave got the bloomer on E. He went back for it. Yeah, they, they finished the kill off. That's really smart. There's a, so 60 to 50. It's still completely playable for Illusion here. If they get one more kill, then they're back to back to even. Yeah, for sure. And a, and a little bit of smart power rotating, mm -hmm. and they'll, uh, they might get it. Right now they're looking for a little bit of engage here. Illusion trying to find something. Mojo takes all of the Kajir bursts at the start there. Left on like three quarters HP before his uh, combo even goes oh. off. The Kajir is even lower trying to run out. He finds the bloomer and Margrave's diving for him, but he won't, it won't be quite enough. Mozu all gets Big old. It barely makes a dent. So Margrave commits his. Uh, simply will get out. Mojo can't finish that kill, but there's a lot of low players for both teams. Look how low Anubis is. Power flying here. Oh. Except for Illusion. Get but him. Anubis is way too low in the middle of everybody. <laughs> Purple Bun's in trouble now. He doesn't have his jump pad, I don't think. Yeah, and Margrave's still out of this fight because he had to heal up. He just came back in now, so Purple Bun's now he's got really it. really low. Good stall. Gnosis is here yeah, still. That's, okay, that's it. That's it. Yeah, there's no. They, so Nas has actually canceled the uh, the Sven ult with his ult. Yep. Uh, if you're ulting when the Sven comes out, then you won't get turned into a snail. Yeah. So it was just perfect timing for Nasus. Yeah. And even with the full defense hundred shield here, it is still an auto wound. So that's not really going to punish them in the slightest. Yeah. Little guys can go ahead and just uh just regroup, maybe uh maybe decide to upgrade a creature or not if they've got some focuses. It seems like these focuses are really going just into the combat though. Little guy's just squeaking it out here. Yeah, Illusion opting to take down that uh, obelisk just super quick. And now now an actual full traditional reset 0-0 zero to zero with both teams on their respective sides. Except Gren's on one wound. I mean, they, they like I said, they don't really have much good commitments for wounds, but if this team man has a couple levels on their focus, they can kill it very quickly. Yeah, Illusion, uh, little guy surprising me against the sweep from the Speaking last game. Speaking of team man, under a lot of pressure, but the Wu won't be able to finish that off. And oh, now he's out of all of his skills. He's bleeding and he will fall. That's 10 power for little guys. Who is chase being chased over here? Dave is trying to find. Was uh, it? Oh, the Kajir, oh, it was Kajir. Yeah, that's that's understandable. You don't see very often because you're running away from Mozu, but you know, sometimes sometimes it happens. Yeah. Look guys once again finding just that one kill that puts them ahead by ten. You know, they they, they seem to have 
the uncanny knack to just do this consistently. Big fight happening okay, on F. Big fight happening, yeah. Kajir says I'm getting in here. The oh. creature's on one HP. If this collects and it's a, a full 40 power ahead for little guys, a, a trade kill will come through, but this creature is falling. There's no way that they can get this Zando off in time. Teamat will commit the ultimate, but Mojo is really putting pressure down. Zandora says, all right, I'll, I'll press mine as well. There's a lot of ultimates coming out here. Just saying, popping his to get a, 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 any little bit of space that he can, but it's not quite enough. He will be finished off. You're running to the wrong side, and Anubis is getting died by Zandora. He will be... No, he's not finished just yet. Yeah. He's got to get around the team at, which he won't. They're losing, uh, they're losing ground on their own point. <laughs> it just... It's, uh... Is but this they is... still have the power to collect. This is a. This actually is a, a yeah. rampage for illusion. Yeah. So a little bit of a little bit of an overcommitment, but it was a it was a great attempt. I don't think they really needed close, to do yeah. it. But you that know. was a, that was a very good play. It just barely didn't run. I mean, you can see the Margaret's one HP. It just barely didn't work out for them. Yeah, I don't know if this was fully a required thing to do, but you know, it it uh oh, they got to kill somewhere the the back capping. Yep. The back capping yeah, of the creature. They're playing really well. I actually, I kind of, I don't disagree with the F push. That was because um, they were slightly ahead in, in the power rotation, but it's it makes a lot of sense in that situation. The creature got really low really quick before they even showed up. Yep. And I don't think they'll get anything about, out of this wound, but just got collapse on on both sides. But Nasus finding a sneaky kill. I believe it was on E. Yeah, they just respawn E. Uh, nearly at the last second before Gren connected and, and pinned Lyran down. So that did almost nothing. <laughs> so now uh, Illusion is just finding these small little moments of, of, of brightness and keeping... Uh, I mean, I would say Lil Guys on is their really toes. impressing. Yes, that's L what I, that's really what I meant. Here. I said the wrong thing. Lil Guys is finding these sneaky moments and Illusion is having to stay on their toes. That's what I meant. Big shock. Seeing a little bit more fighting over the midpoint here. Most of the, these teams seem to have said that the cliffs aren't for them as much anymore in the in the clash. A little bit of damage going on both sides. No kills so far. Just doing what they can to poke, regroup. A little sneaky Kajir action here. Nah, he's gonna regroup. Get out of there. Yeah, there's there's gonna be. Ooh. I think. Uh, oh, big ultimate coming in from Margrave. That's gonna get two players, and. Oh, the Kajir is very low, They're but the trying to commit. will go down as well. He gets out of there, I think. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're able to kill pretty much nothing but Kador. Oh, okay, they will find Mojo on the back end. Yeah. Uh, little boys will. These, uh... This Gnosis is actually doing very well. Like, yeah, he's, he's doing a lot of damage. Gnosis is just finding these little kills somewhere, like, on screen, and he's... Let's can we look at the scoreboard? How many kills does he have? Ten kills on the Nosses. The Zandy's going doing really well. nine and one on the Zandora. Yeah, this is very shocking for for this sort of team. But uh, I'm you pair it with the Ashland. I mean, those Oros probably get pumping, huh? Yeah, I think that's kind of what it comes down to. Big jumps. Not stepping too close. Doesn't want to get shot by Lair and lasers. But the damage on Charnock the back will get committed to this fight, and a lot of players are having to leave here. Ezra's by himself, but look how low low guys are. Everybody's low in this fight now. Team Adult's getting committed, but it'll be interrupted by Margrave Alt. There's a lot of low players, and finally one will fall. Mojo goes down on the uh, on Illusion side. Little guys trying so Zendoro hard to find anything. We've seen like five folks is committed so far. Yeah, this is insane. What a what a very scrappy game going on. We're back to 80-80 because they collected in the midpoint. Oh, nice sneaky that little was a cap very on big D. Collection from Anubis. Oh, and it all comes lag. out for Mozu to get them ahead. Oh no, my connection might be going to crap. Okay, no, it's, it's, we, it's we, we seem too. to be we seem to be okay. We're good. All right. Oh, Illusion found two sneaky kills in there. Yeah, wow. So it's 80 to 100, and now Illusion gets a lot of damage on this wound here. This is a and they big might chunk. actually be able to commit. They they ch burn the Mozu ult and the Charnock ult. Yeah, but for... even without that, if you can set your range up, you can finish these wounds very easily. Yeah, for people that don't know, that's the scaling damage that the Guardians do. The longer the go game goes on, they do more and more impact damage. It's a, a big chunk, about half, and they're going for it. You're right. 
Yeah, they are committing to this. They, they're able to set their uh, ranged up on the on the boiler back there. You see Charnock back there uh, throwing shots off. Nice Mozu kills. Gets in and presses the uh, the reflex. It's oh, he not gets it. Quite enough. We will go to one to two. Anubis to will die though. No way he survives. No, he... no way he survives. Slow. He makes his way. He's good. He's oh, good. Danny can't catch that. Oh my goodness. That is nuts. Now, this bloomer, however, looks like it might be going down as they've been killing those a lot. We've got to be getting close to running out of creatures for uh, illusion yeah. here. I mean, <laughs> at least out of bloomers. This could be, yeah, bloomers for sure. I mean, this is a lot of creatures going down in general. This is a uh, this is creature abuse. Another Ashland alt out. Yeah. So we so Mojo traded himself for surprise watermelon. So the team at we've been seeing a lot of woo trades going on. Um, I, you know, I'm of the train of thought on Wu that you'd rather just get a, a, an enemy out of the fight and then get out yourself rather yeah. than, than sacrifice yourself for them. Yeah. Um, but, you know, they're, they're, they're trading power, and uh, that might be what they're looking to do to try to keep it away from the midpoint, potentially, but they did capture it last time. This is a very, very long back and forth game. Now actually gone even with one wound apiece. Little guy's slightly ahead with the power race, isn't it? Uh, push. And uh, trying to find trying to find some moments here. Ooh, Ezra's stuck in the middle point. He's getting slowed by Mojo. There's going to be a lot of damage coming down on him. Rainbow He's Dash! <laughs> Rainbow Dash out. The, oh, the Mozu's committing for it, and Margrave. I think they might be able to kill it, find this one. Another Rainbow Dash into a heal. Oh, the my God. Just barely isn't enough. Oh, my God. And Zandora <laughs> is looking more mobile than any Zandora I've ever, I've ever seen. What in the world was all that animation cancel movement? Yeah. That was nuts. That was like a Rainbow Dash into a lunge forward. Yeah, like, and look how much they committed and to they that. they return kill it. Wow. Low that guys, was very good. Low guys end up finding two kills Mojo off of the back, or just one. Death here too. Kajir's on him. If he if he dies here, this could be the game. It's ninety to seventy. Yeah, that's a lot. It's gonna be a lot of damage. Yeah, little another visual glitch happening here. We don't quite see the impact damage, but that was insane. Zandora living that long. So many resources spent, and it just punished them because they couldn't commit to killing her. After yeah, a while, you just gotta. After a while, you just gotta get up or give up. <laughs> Nice jump from the Margrave, going for the attack here. Did about a, did about will a commit third. Their ultimate. That's a lot of damage on the wound. We have 15 seconds to this wound, ladies and gentlemen. They've got to survive this whole time. Mozu will slam the Reflect down, but it looks like it might not be enough. There's a lot of damage. They coming. get a kill. One will go on with six seconds left. Nice Second stand kill. Ezra's not hot, uh, healthy enough to keep hitting them. And ladies, we're going to another one. With, oh, they didn't get anybody after time, though, so it's still 0-0 zero, zero power. However, those are some pretty long death timers that they can use to run into C. That Sven ult, the Chaos Quaff, I think actually just saved the game. I think it was at least here, too. The three uh, melee attackers there on little, uh, little guys uh, committing and not able to attack it. I think that actually just saved the game. Again, we we find, we see that Illusion doesn't have enough damage to actually finish this creature in time. They have to get out and fight afterwards. Ezra will get really low, but he's going to get himself out as well. And now they they have to run their their ranged away. This is what you don't want to do with this Mozu uh, Charnock. You want them to be standing in one place and just pounding damage into the enemy team. Yep. But when they have to keep resetting their positioning over and over, Mozu has to reset their uh, their charge. Charnock's burn falls off, and they both start doing less and less damage. Big pick here if they find him. Yeah. That team I was way out of position. It's going to get found by pretty much every team, every player on the Illusion team. But they're not committing. They're, they're, they've are they're they learned their lesson, it seems. Big Turned oh. into the Charnock call. That's a lot of damage going down. They can't fight in this, uh, in this little corridor anymore without dying. And just saying we'll figure that out uh, in the hard way. Uh, this Gnosis is going down really low too and now it's just Ezra to try to hold the line he probably won't be able to do it by himself and he has to get out that's illusionists look are looking very ahead on this push 30 or 30 points ahead 40 to 70. it's like little guys found they got caught in a position they were trying to find some return kills and ended up getting two more kills taken away from them now illusions ahead by by 30 and and that's gonna be a big commitment over here they're gonna trade these trade creatures. creatures someone's gotta I mean, go back and stop this them. first because that creature was already low they've so got to stop collect. the power collect 
Yeah. They're not gonna get there in time. Okay, know. there they go. Nope, the Ashlands there. Okay. And they're collecting on East Hills, and Illusion hasn't committed to this, so they're going to collect that, but that's not enough for a put. Oh no, Illusion sent their their Margrave back. Yep. That's crazy. They doubled their Margrave back to collect. Yep, just one. And now it's a fifty to hundred push. Can we check the the range characters' ultimates? Yeah, let's see what let's see who has ults right now. Margrave does, or no, sorry, Nasus does. Wu does. No Mozu. No Mozu. We have a couple of ultimates, but none of the wound killing ultimates, so but they let's, might commit to this. Let's see what happens. It's not going to be super potent. There's a lot of damage coming down on it still. Wu is comboing the wound along with the two range Look characters. Look at all this. Into it. They've stopped the Wu for now. He's too low to keep hitting it, but Big the range shield. still are. And it looks like Illusion's trying to finish it out. One second left. A uh, number of health left. Not, They're going into another power rotation. Not quite one pixel, but darn near close enough. This yeah, is this insane. Is, uh, this now is Illusion's got to get out. T-Mac commits the ult to find an extra power. Purple Buns will fall. And Anubis has to get his way out of there, too, because he's just got, not got enough health to continue. Rocket almost connects, but not quite. Ooh, Zendora wants it! Margrave wants it! No. Zendora wants the creature. Oh. This thing's too low for them to keep it alive. Did they go too far? They're committing That's with a big Nasus, a big Margrave. Down. They'll trade for the Bloomer, but I don't think this is good for them. They're just going to continue the fight. Anubis is sitting on that high ground, doing a, putting a lot of damage down on Kajiri. He's and too low. He needs to get out of here, but, and he will fall. 40 to 20, so Illusion is fighting back a little bit here, and they do have a G power to collect still. I'm very surprised that Illusion couldn't find the fight there. Uh, there was they a, did. They found two kills. Well, there's a big... Two. No, Lil Guy says the 40. Well, yeah, but they're they're collecting the power. They Illusion didn't collect their uh, G power yet. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. You're right. You're right. It's just a matter of, like, man, I, I really kind of expected more, because that Charnacle hit, like, three people. <laughs> But I mean, well. they they melted that team out really fast. Yeah, it was. It's uh, it's one We're of back those. Back on an e fight here. It, I mean, little guys just really taking it to him. But uh, this uh, Kajir is finding out that Anubis is no pushover. He's gonna put damage on him if you're trying to kill him. And Wu is in the back line trying to confirm this team at. He will eventually. Oh, no, he will be found. Anubis just left He's untouched not able to up do there. A sliver of health. There's summoning another creature. This will be an 80 to 90 right now with the D rotation coming up. This is the push up. for the end of the game. Oh, yeah. This is 100% going to come down to it. And it's ending on a D rotation. Yep. And Illusion has to somehow find two kills without dying once. And if we know anything about little guys right now, they can actually survive. They're going for the back They don't tap. even need to take wait for the rotation. Just go for the creature. This is perfect. And they will find it. 100 to 100 doesn't matter. You've got to kill us all and then keep us out of Grant. This yep. is looking really bad for Illusion. They're finding a little bit of, of ground here, but Illusion needs to just stay moving forward. Okay, They've got it's this 100, point. 100. Illusion, uh, Illusion needs to stay like on their boilers or something. But Ezra's in the back line waiting for the... Waiting this for the is going to be... And they just can't do it. Yeah, they needed to commit it's gonna be for too the much fight. Damage, even with the Zandi there. What in the That's world? It. There we go. <laughs> wow, what an insane game. That was a slog. 37 minutes almost. That was nuts. Let's game. look at these wow. stats. Let's look at these stats. Don't go to main video. Oh my goodness. 68,000 healing from Ashlyn. 73,74k from Gnosis and, 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 uh, and uh, T-Mat. 67. Like, look... Look how much damage Anubis did. Like, this was so insanely back and forth. Yeah, this was a very, very like, long slog of a game. Like, Let's do it. I'm going to remind everyone that we will be playing Ember Grove. Um, what do you think of Ember Grove, Wolfie? I know that we were uh, talking about it a little bit. I'll admit, uh, I'll admit it's not my favorite, but it is going to be a bit different than what we've seen before because I, I've been under the impression for a while now this map kind of really supports like these small very self-dependent teams of like two and three and then back capping and kind of keeping control on one side not necessarily upgrading any middle point creature because it's extremely dangerous uh, oh yeah you're you're very unlikely to see any upgrades on every row yeah the, the creatures uh, maybe like one 
The creatures are in such danger on this map. Yeah, so far HK away. ban is very interesting. It's little guy's blue side. I yes. Wanna, yep. I want to alert everyone. Just saw us. So uh, go ahead and switch these over. So, so HK ban little guys. Uh, I, you know, HK is a very good creature. A uh, very good. Illusion very is good banning character. the Gnosis. They have respect for the Gnosis. The res uh, you know. This will never this happen again. This is the beauty. <laughs> this is the beauty. This is the beauty of seeing these long, sloggy matches. Is you get to see them change their their tactics as their tactics as they go through, and you would have never seen an Osis ban before. This. And I, yeah, exactly. I was just about to say that in the prior generation, you would have never seen an Osis ban. But the the game has changed. These players have found things that we haven't. They've been playing for a lot longer, and. Uh, Mad respect to the Gnosis. Like, that's insane. Picking team up first team pick, at first. That, yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, I don't think we really got to We can we can go back to talking about Gnosis being banned. The like the <laughs> team at high priority. <laughs> we got it. Yeah, team at high priority. We have the so Gnosis being banned. I think really illustrates the beauty of this specific drafting style. I know a lot of people knock the the non ditto drafting style. But I think even if, like, given everything equal that we had in the, in the whole entire matchup before this, I think that even if you had dittos, they still wouldn't ban Gnosis yeah. in this situation. No, not at because all. Because you can ditto your way out with a with an answer to him. But since we have the the uh, single pick, you have to ban the Gnosis because they're respecting it. Yeah, and it's not it's not just the Gnosis that I think was the problem. It's like the full combination of having the Zandora and. Uh and Ashlyn like it's that was that was so incredibly oppressive like even even when uh even when little guys was like slipping up here and there they still found the pitch Ooh, Paco or not Paco uh Kajir I don't know why Paco was on my mind <laughs> it's Kajir I mean Kajir Mozu I'm interested I mean Mozu is very good on Ember she has very good escape paths yeah uh, with her with her teleport yeah and the teleport uh, is so far too it's not a typical map that I think of when I think of Mozu. I suppose, but at the same time, it's kind of one of those situations where Mozu can stay pretty far away from a point. Someone can open up, you know, a sh the shield of a creature, and then she can just pelt it from a distance, like on one of the higher cliffs. It's actually quite easy to pull off properly. Also, wh why would I mean the Mozu second pick is very weird because you leave Ashland and Margrave open that we see here. Those are those are two characters that you probably want for your team that's, if you're picking a Mozu Kajir. That's know. very true. I'm wondering what the what Illusion is going to pick as their pocket frontliner now because it's because uh, they were the one that had the Margrave before. So now they don't have Paco. now they don't have anything. I mean, Paco is actually looking very good here. Yeah, I think Paco Kajir is actually a very good combo. Well, they have very good uh, uh, combos of, of of kill confirm. Yeah, I'm I'm expecting Illusion to kind of pick uh, a support here, and maybe they're maybe maybe they'll pull out a wild card and maybe like get the Amani because Amani yeah, is like undrafted. Paco's fan. I guess I guess the 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 reason why you don't pick the support early is because you, you know there's no supports banned, so you can just wait for your for your support later and pick up whichever one they don't take. You know. Yeah. You don't care if you're taking Ashlyn or Sven. Voden. How did I not think of the Voden? Um. I mean, Voden? I, 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 Voden on Embergrove? Voden's, I can see it. Yeah, Voden's very good on this map because the priority for midpoints on this map is to summon uh, Cyclopses. So that makes kind of only one real escape path or, or entry path. And Voden, with a good focus, can really turn fights around. And it kind of leaves what if they a just lot of room Paco for here. They could pick Paco. Just picks Paco here? That would be kind of nuts. Like, Illusion's kind of left without a tanky character they have to pick ramsey i guess yeah they'd have or to pick ramsey or, or somehow yeah exactly ramsey might be might be the might be the play here paco can work i just think that it would be really really hard because there's a lot of lockdown and burst potential on the little guys team right now like Margrave and Ashlyn are complete counters to Paco, just because they have right. But it's your only choice for like a frontliner, right? I suppose in in some points. I mean, Illusion might opt out for a frontliner. They might play for like the like dash in, 
uh, dash in and out. So Amani's in this draft and it's not getting Amani's Yeah. really good on Ember Grove. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little surprised. Maybe no one's comfortable enough on Amani, but that's... Dave is an Amani player. <laughs> yeah, that's true too. I think Dave... Um, I think Dave would actually prefer the HK, but they, they banned him. Yeah. So... Well, I, honestly, D HK on Ember Grove is pretty underwhelming, I think, compared to a lot of your other yeah. ranged choices. Do you think a lot uh, of the? Sorry, do, go ahead. do you think the? Do you think Dave has actually picked vote in here? Like, do you think Dave is the vote in? Or maybe oh yeah, he's... Dave is their vote player. Well, he, he played at game one. Well, Dave, uh, Dave was Mozu in the last game, wasn't he? Yeah, it... but they uh, that was because Anubis was playing Charnock. That's true. That's very true. So, what do you think? It's I, I don't be... think I don't think Anubis plays vote in. He's, he's the other range player. Yeah. So do you think it's Anubis on uh, on uh, Kajir? And then... No, I think it's Anubis on Mozu. Okay. Mm, I'm, one, I'm curious who their I Kajir is. I hope it's is. Anubis on Mozu. I hope. I don't know. Their, their Kajir, they've been playing... Uh, what's his name? Ah. Uh, I can't remember his name. Mojo? Uh, Mojo, yeah. Mojo's been... Uh, not Mojo. Uh, Classy. No, Classy was the... Classy was the who was their... Was it Mojo was their Kajir assassin? last game? No, Kajir was on Lil Guy's team, wasn't he? Uh, yeah, you're right, you're right. <laughs> Chat, tell they, me if they, I'm wrong Mojo, or not. <laughs> Mojo played Kajir game one. Mojo yes. played Kajir game one. Yeah, and Mojo was Wu in that last game. Getting yeah. getting a little bit of a delay here on the on the actual final two picks of Lil Guy's. They're thinking. Yeah. I mean... We gotta put a timer on this or something. <laughs> maybe in the future. That's, uh, that's out of our hands. Uh, but I'm, I'm curious. Uh... Little guys could use a little more ranged. Ah, uh, the the team captain DC for a moment. Gotcha. But they uh they could use maybe another range character, and they could use a kill secure. So they need an assassin. Honestly, I well I don't think you even need double range on uh on Ember Grove. On Ember, I think you need. Yeah, I think I think you can run the double assassin playstyle. I mean, you could. I think it's a little risky. It really depends on if Lil Guys wants to try to keep control of both sides, or if they want to just focus in on one side. Um, also, Roland's still in this draft. There's a lot of options still in this draft. You can pick yeah, Amani. Yeah, there's, a, there's an Oru that I'm surprised hasn't been picked yet. So, okay, they're opting for one Oru's assassin. Taito. Okay, there's Taito, yep. Yeah. I'm gonna... Maybe the second one comes through with a with a trip. I, I do like Taito trip on on Ember Grove. I think it's a very good combo. On trip the is trip is a good call. I think I'm also gonna I'm gonna personally bet for the Oru here. I think Oru. Is, I think we could. I, I think, think Oru we could is really see it. Strong. I think one of the downsides to Oru though is that it honestly just loses. Mozu is one of the characters that just beats Oru out in like a straight up like left click fight. Yeah, but um, it's it's very hard to win that fight as Oru. I think just the reason I'm bringing it up is right now they don't have a reliable way to stop Oru from ulting. So like if Oru if they get picked off, Oru is Beckett. They are gonna pick Beckett though. Okay, so I knew it, I I figured it was gonna be a ranged person. Like that was my initial guess. Um, I'm astounded that Roland Amani has made it through this draft. Yeah. So I don't think they're going to pick Amani here. They still need to... I don't think they necessarily need a frontliner, but it, I wouldn't be surprised if they did pick one. And it is Paco. Paco, yeah, yeah. I was going to say. I think you need... A, I honestly think you need a frontliner. So Paco is... Hmm. I think there's too too much damage they're, uh, coming they're, out, and it's too focused. You need someone that, that's going to soak that up for a bit so your damage can focus it. Yeah, for sure. Paco can take a lot of hits. He's got a really big health pool, uh, and he's got a lot of CC to keep himself kind of alive for a little bit longer. There we go. And so this will be this will be silent, you guys, because we're gonna not uh, we're gonna not have their comms because we don't want to interrupt their stream comms. Soon we'll soon we'll get an observer up, hopefully. Yeah, they're they're working on it. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Yeah, he is. He's trying to get a code. So we're gonna we're gonna go with this right now. We are spectating Dave once again, so I don't need to. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't need to change anything, actually. Yeah. We'll follow off the. Uh... I, I I just uh, I just got a new so so hopefully he'll be able to get a code for us. Um, the so we're seventy to thirty for illusion here. Yes. Uh, this is very very early on in the push. 
or early on in the game, and they've got a pretty convincing lead, 90 to 50 now. I don't think they're, oh, they have collected all the power on the map, so it's 90 to 50. Pedro going a little too deep here. Nice leap, but can he get around the wall? That's not his wall. He cannot. He's stuck. Dave's telling his team, hey guys, there's a little title here. Let's do something about this. Oh, he's, he's stuck at on a the other stand. wall. He tried to dodge up, and he was able to do it. But oh, he get so out? Dave's close. Dave's got to hit that last shot. Nah. That would have been nuts. That would have. I. I actually can't believe that a uh, title survived. I was. I was so sure he was actually out of stamina. But they. They can. They can afford kind of not getting the kill here. They just have to stop the team from yeah. grabbing E. Speak of the devil. Okay, they do get an interrupt there in time. Very. Yeah, they also have Voden all to interrupt. So. Yep. And that's going to be a hundred to sixty push. This is a large push for Team Illusion. Yes. This is going to be a this is going to be half health on the attacker here, and uh, well, I mean they've just got a kind of position. They're all here in the mid. They're all going in. Gren pinned down. They went a little bit too early. <laughs> yeah, Gren's being held down here. We'll see how much damage they can pump out. Enth is wow. Is Anubis really not on this uh, pick? Now nah, they're going to get it though. Either way, they uh, they have plenty of damage. Is Anubis in the game? Uh, okay, he is. He's yeah, playing he be. what? Wouldn't he be the Mozu? He's playing Kajir, okay. Oh, he is Kajir, okay. I figured he would be. Yeah, Amazing. it's Nth classy purple buttons. I, I, I pump up this guy's Mozu the whole time, and he doesn't even pick it. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh... <laughs> All right, Paco Walt into a vote, and I'll... this guy's going to die. I can't see who that is, but that, that's an Ashlyn. Okay, Ashlyn is gone. So 10 to 0 right now, kind of re-grabbing these middle points, finding another kill somewhere. Uh, yeah, they they found Purple Buns. Or no, sorry, Purple Buns found Margrave. Just holding here on C, keeping the position, holding little guys back in that back point on F. And, uh, well, they, I mean, honestly, they just, they don't need to do anything. They just need for the rotations yeah. to come through. It, they, they just need to chill out right now with 20 points ahead. It's not really a big deal for, for any fights that go on. They just need to back off and, and let their power do their thing. They're not really keeping a but hold on But they're forcing the creature, though. Because you're going for the F point, you can see, on the mini-map. Getting a little interrupted there, and he's going to keep interrupting it. They kill it, they're going back for him, and he gets out of there. So they might have lose that middle creature, but they took one back, and they keep their advantage here. They are resummoning. 70 to 30. That's quite a power lead at this point. I mean, this is very hard to surmount from uh, from any any uh, aspect. Yeah. And they're just going to go to 90 here from this collection. This actually be 100 because they got to kill. 100 if they get it through. Yep. Very good job. And that's it. I mean, another push for Illusion, and we saw, we saw that they were able to set their ranged up for good wound damage last wound, so they might be able to do that again. Yeah, poor... Doing a little bit of poke on this team, huh? Poor little guys just can't seem to find their foothold here. I feel like they need to make a different approach, because they're, they're definitely not winning the push on this side of the map. Maybe they need to go around and, like, back cap, maybe force. But at the same time, Illusion could just do the same exact thing and take F again. Going here, nice so stun. So, the... It looks like they're just trying to commit as hard as they can for these wounds and just get the game done. I think they learned something from the last game that they don't want to go for a very long slog. Pa Paco Walt comes out and stops a lot of the damage, but Ashlyn has to get off the wounds, so their support isn't there to keep their uh, their troops healthy. But uh, Gren will take about half his life total there. Distracted long enough to get that, and actually Taito finds the uh, yeah Taito finds a kill on their creature here on C. So they get a 10 power advantage from that. That was a okay play from, from Illusion, but really they have a slight advantage on the side of uh, of little guys. All right, so we have we have just learned that they accidentally turn didn't turn on the spectator mode option. So we are we are currently stuck oh, here oof. watching That's Dave's rough. stream. That's okay. The last game. It's okay. Dave is a very competent player. This has uh, been interesting so far. Voden's very fast and uh and full of action. And I I get to force you to watch Voden. <laughs> you said you don't like Voden. Now yeah, you're now you're gonna be oh, looking at him the that. whole time. 
So uh, we don't even get to watch his upgrades either because he's uh he's doing his uh he's got his auto upgrade going. He's got his build laid out. <laughs> yep. Because you do you do do the same Voden build most of the time. Most of the time. It, it's not. You might yeah. take a difference in your E. Yeah, for those that are for those that are uh, not knowing, not aware in the chat, um, it is an option that you have to turn on or off when you make a custom game. So if if the game accidentally gets disabled, like if the option accidentally gets disabled, we can't actually join in directly. So we are we do have this backup for you guys. But it's just kind of taking what we can. Just now, the 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 uh, bruises of early early tournaments and gigantic. Yeah. It is. It should really just be an option that's always on. It really shouldn't even be a toggle, if you ask me. But uh, it is what it is. Oh, maybe we have we? Do we got it? it? Looks uh, almost possibly for for a fraction of a second. I saw. I heard something. What's going on, Banjax? Give us a sign. Ah, oh. uh, he's bugged in the ground. There, I think this happened. You know, we saw this in our in our uh, in our beginner tournament where Ember Grove bugged us in the ground the one time. Little guys actually got a push here. They they took my suggestion. Actually, it's like they heard me. They went around and and went to uh, the other point, kind of back capping here, forcing Illusion to come to this side. So now they've got a push, and we might we might see a little more life here on on the little guy's side. Yeah, they're and they do have good wound damage with this uh Beckett and T Mat. That's a lot of wound damage that can come out. Yeah. Let me see actually if they're they gonna have... try for it. Uh, Beckett ult comes out. There he gets a good splash on two players with that poison, but it might not be enough. There's a lot of damage coming out on the wound. They get one shield from a kill. Yeah, that poison bomb was actually really huge and stopped a lot of the initial engage. That's pretty rough. T-Mac committed ultimate, but it just wasn't enough damage, and they die after the wound as well. Yep, so this is a this is a big step for uh, Illusion to keep their foothold. I'm actually going to turn on and see if they have their comms on or not. I don't know, maybe if they've... I don't know if Dave they has do not. that. Yeah, I don't... They do not. Yeah, they have their comms. Oh, so... no, they do, they do. Yeah. Oh. So they have their All comms, right, we just can't have... They quiet for the moment that I turned it on. Yeah. So unfortunately, we can't separate... Uh, through watching another person's stream, we can't separate their comms from just the in-game audio. So we don't want to we don't want to have a <laughs> we don't want to have a spoilers, so to speak. A lot of creatures going down here. D, C, G, and A all dead at this moment, and they just cross collected power from the from the enemy's uh, point. Yep. So just staying even, even, and they actually haven't resummoned A yet, which is not really a bad option here, because a. Uh, if they a lot lose of the damage going down on the summoning creature, it's already at a quarter HP. It might fall. I'm actually surprised. Or I think I was looking at Kador there. Yeah. I'm actually surprised he's holding this focus for so long. Maybe they're trying to maybe they're trying to get a Storm Drake on a Yeah, I feel like he could have thrown it there and gotten three or four people in it. Probably. It's still even here. They have to stall long enough. He's going for the back cap, Dave, to to summon a either summon a creature or just manually captured himself no he's not they, yeah they have to get they have to get one on the midpoint because they claimed the one on c yep so now he needs to hold this while the enemy team stalls long enough he's got two attackers here three four yeah they're all here yeah everyone's coming in i mean they Beck need... gets here to try to do as much damage as she can to this creature before it collects but i don't think they'll be able to get all the damage that they want on it it's already at a quarter hp can they interrupt it enough they will kill the creature before it gets the power down. Now it's a question of whether or not C can collect with the other three uh, players on the other side of the map. Oh my goodness. It looks like it's very close, and Kajir will finish it off. He's going to manually capture. So He's Oh, they stopped him on the other side. Look how close this is. Oh, Ashlyn stayed too long. Yeah, 90-90. And Ashlyn's too long, and that's a kill for Dave. Ashlyn stayed way too long. The interrupt had good intentions, but definitely, uh, de <laughs> definitely uh, needed to uh definitely need to do something there because it was gonna it, it was gonna looks like an auto wound but it's not yeah i actually think that uh it, it looked for a moment like they were actually gonna capture c first but the kajir stunned him and then ashlyn wanted to do the same thing but she doesn't have quite the same escape nice wound now we're going into now, clash yeah, it's just gonna be a free wound from look how low team is back there they're even they might get a return kill on it oh dave just missed did they it's stay? okay. 
Perp needs to get out before he dies, but he can't. The 10 power is going to go to the uh, enemy team. Yeah. And that's 10 to 10. They'll they'll collect the uh, team out at the end there. And the Nth get, seems to have dived in. Yeah, so just a one for one on the retreat here. That's it. Kind of kind of really what we, what we thought would happen, or what I thought would happen. And now no creatures on the neutral points. But it looks like a uh, low guy's positioned yeah. a little bit faster. <laughs> you climb over the cliff and see five enemies. And you're just like, nope, bye. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Doing a little bit of poke damage from his little perch here. This is, I mean, this is exactly right. what you do. Nice little they, daze. Their creature summoned on D, so this fight is, is worth taking now. Yep. Nice little daze cannon uh, shock blast from the is that, uh, team. Anubis that. is 11 and 0 on the. Uh, yeah, I saw that. He's uh, <laughs> he's doing quite well for himself. Uh, unfortunately, Dave has we a little. Like a Dave has the uh, jump. Uh, oh no, he. That was weird. Usually, he he had like the for the moment he had the jump uh screen bug happening, but title went in a little bit too deep there. A little bit of pixelation on the stream. Unfortunate. That's out of our control. Ooh, big poison. Big focus. Double focus. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's a lot of damage going down with the Paco and Voden all. It's just saying it's just a little too low. He might make his way out. Anubis is trying to follow it. He won't find it, though. Yeah, this is exactly what I This is exactly what I brought up. Like, the Voden and the Paco surprising amount of aoe if they've combined their focuses together and that that hit like that hit at least three people both of their focuses and that just turned that whole fight on its head now they've got an 150 yeah. push and they could they could position to end here this game not it nearly like they might be grouping up to finish yeah this game not nearly as a uh, as close as the other game was it seems All right, Gren's getting smacked down here, and we have five players positioned and ready. Actually, Mozu's coming around on the other side to try to stop the D push, and yeah. they will kill D at the end for some power. That's actually kind of smart to to prepare the creature to try to defend your wound. Yep. There's a lot of damage coming out. It looks like it might not be enough. Another shield going on as well, and they're going to have to get out. Yeah. They call the retreat. Two jump pads to get them out. Yeah, just peppering the the chase with a bit of poison, hoping it keeps them in combat long enough to drain their stamina bars. I was actually a little surprised uh, because for a little while, it seemed like Dave wasn't being attacked at all. Voden was just free shooting. Even when Taito went in, Taito got bursted so fast. Uh, but then they uh, then they found some kills elsewhere, and then Voden just they couldn't commit. They're pushing the A point with, with four players, it looks like. Yeah, getting another big... <laughs> another big poison spore splash so little little guys is just stripping their creatures away from them yeah and they're actually manually uh, capturing right now to get a huge lead if they don't stop them but it seems like in the fights that result from them stripping the creatures away they just keep losing the power fight yep paco's getting caught here though that might be a kill on him that's a title alt that hit him but they're rooted under Lyran. Dave's so low. Taito did die to the bleed, and there was a lot of damage on the Taito, but just not enough to finish the kill. Yeah, so little guys found a kill somewhere in that fight, I believe. It was Paco, like you said, and then they also manually captured power, so they're actually ahead 10 right now. Um, the only reason it's only 10 is because Illusion captured G at the same time, <laughs> but everyone was over here on the little guy's side, so there was no one actually fight to grab a kill along the way. 50 to 60 here are we i mean the little guys are slightly ahead thanks for calling oh, that's a nice that's, thanks for following space cow <laughs> yeah space cow shout outs for the slot it's not even our stream that's hilarious <laughs> he I stopped that. Beckett from uh summoning on d but he's gonna have to back off from there yeah nubis actually now they might just have two creatures in the midpoint so according to the kill feed kill According to the kill feed, Nubis actually found a kill on the far side, so they evened it up, and now there was a return kill, so now they're behind by 10 again. So He seems to be doing a lot of that finding a kill thing. Yeah. Oh, big leap. <laughs> Pizza Hunger. Hell yeah. Yeah, there we go. Thanks, Pizza Hunger. Yeah, this is uh, this is one of those things where, you know, I mean, we can't, we can't tell the streamers to not have their follow notifications on. We oh, are, God. We are watching oh, through no. their stream. Rezo People not doing it from the stream. No, Rezo and Guka not following. It's hilarious. Oh, I bet they're gonna spam it, Guka, you piece. 
Gookin, don't do it. I can't see the power feed now. It looks like it might be 9080 if I get if I uh if I see it here. Nah, it's it's not him forgetting to turn off alerts. He didn't know that we were gonna do that. I believe I believe I was right. It was 100 to 80 with this push, and this could actually definitely be the win. I can't watch the match now. Oh, yeah, I agree. <laughs> those, oh yeah, we can go to purple buns. Those yeah. those lads, those lads. I swear. Maybe perp doesn't have follower alerts. Yep. So we'll uh we'll quickly go back to our cam. I mean, purple. Uh, I hate to break it to you. They just won the game. Yeah, purple bunch has already won, so it doesn't matter. Yep. <laughs>